come back after a really long time sorry guys for the delay anyways i'm planning to have this uh, thing on the dcs that i've been doing and this video is just a, a small preliminary video for a couple of videos that's going to deal with the hardware so i'm just going to you know acclimatize you with the jargons that i used and as promised i would be doing this session on uh, history of dcs so let's get started okay now as i have been saying before in all my other videos that whatever i am doing here this is the entire knowledge and the content is proprietary to yokogawa i have attended their training and that has actually helped me to you know come up with this wonderful series fine so let's start with the history of uh, fcs fine now when we talk about the software that is being used uh, as always um uh, i i am talking in reference to uh, yokogawa cs3000 okay so we'll be dealing with the, their hardware that is the, their sort of uh, dcs and um, their history it started off with a model called uh, pfcs uh, which is called which is the portable fcs uh, which was followed by lfcs and uh, kfcs ffcs and ffcs large Uh, as discussed earlier we know what an fcs is right <coughs> it is a field control station basically the box that i was referring to now that has grown along in the history starting with the pfcs i'm repeating it once again okay starting with the pfcs followed by the lfcs kfcs ffcs and ffcs large okay just uh, notice the letters that come at the prefix of fcs for example uh, starting with pfcs that was the first in history so the p stands for portable it's the earliest model even it supports cs3000 now this was followed by the lfcs lfcs is l stands for large the next one stands for uh, kfcs which is compact fcs k stands for compact with a k not c i don't know the person who decided to name it just thought of it next is the ffcs which is the um field network fcs okay and uh, ffcs is followed by ffcs large okay um it's just trying to say even the ffcs large is a field network fcs but it has more io capabilities more number of io handling is possible by this FC fcs okay so so far with the history we'll just have a brief look into each of them quickly <coughs> okay what is different see i can club together pfcs and lfcs into one group and i can club together kfcs ffcs and ffcs large into another group um, it is like you know just consider our own evolution humans have evolved throughout okay but there was a certain stage where we still looked like the monkeys i mean we were bent we had that protruded chin but that was still evolution from our archaic ancestors right but still we could have you know easily divided them we looked something different at one particular stage and we looked something different at a later stage uh, it's the same sort of thing so in a similar sense your pfcs and lfcs can be clubbed together and your kfcs ffcs and ffcs large can be clubbed together i'll tell you how uh, in pfcs and um, lfcs they follow a nest concept and in the other you have a node concept mm, i'm i understand you're still confused just listen to the entire thing okay so it's like you have an io card basically right why do you need an io card io card is a uh, unit which collates the io signals which you require okay in an industry in a field there should be around you know 100 to 200 number of signals but you might be interested in a certain process for example refining so for refining you might require hardly say some 20 to 30 signals okay so all these 20 to 30 signals would be collated and it would be uh, you know converted into a into a single io card unit okay so an io card can be a purely input card purely output card mixed anything okay that's that's depend that depends totally on the 
kind of unit that you have bought okay so um, what happens is such IO cards would be installed on your FCS okay so that your signals which need to be processed by this particular FCS come over the signals are collected processed and sent back fine so this is how it works now what happens in PFCS and LFCSS instead of an IO card okay they have a nest okay now a nest is a bigger unit compared to an IO card it does the same functionality it's just the structure it looks like a square almost so for a PFCS it has the unit has one power supply um, battery then your um, processor okay followed by one two three four five okay five nests okay this you would see in the hardware diagram fine so you have five nests in the shape and your processor and your power supply coming in this is how your pfcs looks so this is one bulky box which has just got five cards okay a nest is a card basically which has got five cards and it is doing limited amount of io processing now what they did in lfcs was it is the same structure you have one two three four five nests power supply processor okay in one box but you could add on additional boxes so on up to eight uh, that is eight is the total number of boxes that you have so there will be one mother followed by seven children maximum now each child can have its own five nests so total of eight into five that is around 40 cards or 40 nests you have okay <clears throat> now each of these seven childs right they are called nodes okay so there is a start of node concept within the lfcs itself but we still you know uh, it can be considered midway between your pfcs and followed by the uh, uh, kfcs ffcs ffcs large okay uh, l is midway it has both the nest concept and the node concept what is a node is just a junction okay so in what it's trying to say is like in pfcs you had just one box there was you cannot have additional just one single box it would be standalone it wouldn't take up all sorts of io signals that is of the entire maybe process or uh, anything okay it would stand in the center take up everything process it and give it back okay this is how it was but in lfcs uh, you could place each units additionally in different directions wherever your process was present okay uh, so uh, I mean that doesn't happen you don't go, go and place a uh, process that's a very wrong usage of words you don't go and place your uh, FCS near to your um, uh, what IO signals and all I mean it ultimately is just one big uh, Almara sort of thing okay wherein uh, this one big uh, section will contain multitude of FCS stacked together it's never like you know one FCS is lying in position A another FCS lies in position B in very remote scenarios where you know a processing is happening in a very distant place you go for a remote node sort of thing but otherwise it's just one single place where the controlling happens okay